Ooh, Jace Tunnel. Check this out. We got some sort of a emergency beacon or something here. Let's see if we can talk about it. Okay, look at this thing. See what it says. It looks like something very important. So it's, it's like a beacon for emergencies, I guess. Okay, activates when out of bracket and in water. Emergency disabling remove four top screws and disconnect battery. Safe compass distance. Notice to public, if found, oh, do not remove. Okay, good thing I'm reading this. Get the sand off of it. Do not remove, report its position to Coast Guard or appropriate authority. Warranty void if opened. See manual for proper care, owner's manual. Well, what is it? Global Fix Pro. 406 megahertz GPS. And it's got a, oh, it's got a vessel name, Pescador 3. And it's got an expiration date of June 11th, 2021. Warning, use only in situations of grave and imminent danger. Oh, okay. I was like, why can't I read it? I think it's Spanish. Okay, so look, it's got like a little lever on here. Oop. Is that turning it on? I don't know. Um, you know, there's all kinds of uh, boats and things like that that are out in the Gulf of Mexico. And I guess if there's emergency situations, you know, there is no cell phone service. So I guess they have something like this, a beacon of some kind uh, for emergencies. Okay, with that, talk to you later. Bye. Okay, let's see if we can call the Coast Guard here, here in Port Aransas. Yeah, hi, uh, my name's Jace Tunnel. I'm over here at the University of Texas Marine Science Institute. And uh, on my beach survey, I found one of these EPIRB things. Uh, it's like a transmitter. And uh, yeah, yeah, and so it has a vessel number on it and uh, you know, it says to turn it into the Coast Guard if found. So I just wanted to know if I could bring it over to y'all since I'm just down the street or what, the, what I should do with it. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Okay, I'll, I'll be down there probably uh, five or ten minutes. Okay, okay thank you. Mm, bye. Okay, I guess we'll take it to the Coast Guard. Okay, so I'm down here, rung the bell, uh, waiting down here to see if uh, the Coast Guard's going to come down. They said they're going to meet somebody down here to, to take it off my hands, and they're going to figure out where it came from and hopefully see if everything's okay. I'll give you an update if I can. Okay, so uh, ended up meeting up with a real nice uh, guy from the Coast Guard. And uh, he said that he looked at it right away and he's like, well, this has been out, uh, out there for a while. He said uh, that the battery probably died uh, close to two years ago. And he looked up on his phone. He had all the vessels on his phone. Uh, so he looked at Pescador, which was the name that was on this EPIRB there's up to six pescadores on there. And so this, uh, on the actual, actual name on it was um, Pescador 3, and he said he couldn't find that in his system. So they're gonna go back and see if they can find anything out about this. I gave him my card, so hopefully they'll get back to me. And uh, if so, I'll give you an update. All right, that's it for this episode of Beachcoming. We'll see what we find next time. Bye.